Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you are new here, just go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button, as well as that little bell icon to let you know whenever your girl uploads a new video. So today what we're here for is a Sephora haul, hence the title and the thumbnail. So um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the way my bank account is set up, this is not a huge haul, okay? She actually probably gave me a bigger bag than I needed. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Things that I did get, I went back and, and I got the Fenty Beauty um, Rihanna Foundation. Um, it is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation that I'm sure all of you guys are fully aware of by now. So this is the thing with, with, with the um, Fendi Beauty. Uh, this is my second round. Um, I initially started out with the 480. Um, and then I just, it, for, for whatever reason, 480 was beautiful to me. Don't get me wrong. But my neck is always darker. So I, you know, wanted everything to blend together. And my chest is way lighter than my face and my neck. So I would probably look really crazy if I go with the color of my chest. So I just decided to go ahead and go with the color of my neck. So I went back and got the darkest shade. Yes, the darkest shade. We are in the house, baby. So, um, yeah, so I got that. And that's going to be the 490. And as you guys know, this foundation is bomb. I got a few brushes, guys. Um, and they're so soft. So, yeah, this is the Sephora brush, and it is the Pro Smudge, and it's the number 11. So, I got that, and then I got another one. Um, it is the Pro Press Full Coverage Complexion. And this is the brush 60. Not 66. 66 or 99? 66. So, guys, um, I like this brush because it is angled. If you see that, it's kind, it kind of goes like in a triangle, which is going to be good for actually, like, getting in there, you know. I'm thinking I'm going to probably use this to um, buff out my um, highlighter or, you know, my concealer, should I say. And it's really dense, which is one thing I love about this brush. And it's so soft. I mean, so soft. And when I say dense, I love dense brushes. I just love dense brushes. Um, I feel like um, it doesn't eat up all your product. So, yeah. And I wanted to try this one because it was in that angle. So, yeah. I don't I live for a $20 beauty blender. Like, no. There's too much competition out there but these are supposed to be the bomb everyone in their mama swears by these beauty blenders so i'm gonna put it to the test i'm gonna see for myself um i actually use the beauty what is it uh this i think it's by the same girls that make the real technique brushes um i think this is element something beauty essence something but it is one of the better brands and um, it is very good. They're very good. They're so soft. I don't have any complaints. But because we're running a sale right now, someone had to get in on it. So, yeah, I'm excited about this little beauty blender that everybody rants and rave about. It better be all that in a bag of chips, guys. Let's open this, sweetie, up. I want to feel the texture. I know we know what it looks like, but I want to feel the texture. Okay. Well, mine's, it's, it is already wet, so. Okay. I mean, I like that it's small. I mean, I'm, I know once it expands, it's going to get a little bigger, but right off the bat, it like I may be, um, maybe easier for me to work with. I see that. So my next stop, I did get the Skin Wonderful. No, Skin Wonderland. How did you get one? Well, Wonderland, so I ain't going to beat myself up too much. But yeah, Skin Wonderland. Okay, it says, leave your uh, complexion looking merry and bright with this exclusive 13-piece kit filled with iconic cleansers, must-have moisturizers, multitasking makeup primers, and more. Okay, 
so I did want to start since I've been doing these beauty um, tutorials. Um, I noticed my skin have been breaking out. Um, so I figure, you know, if I'm going to do this, I need to do it the correct way. I normally don't put anything on my skin because I have very sensitive skin. Um, I cannot even wear like the regular earrings that we just, you know, we can go to the beauty supply store and, and grab a pair or something like that. Every now and again, I can wear them, but it has to be nipple free. Um, I will break out. <clears throat> so yeah, so I, I went ahead and decided to pick this up. I went and looked at all of them. And then with me being so sensitive, you know, I want to kind of give it a trial first. I don't want to just, I don't want to invest too much in to a skincare product that may not even work for me. So with this one, um, she did recommend this one, which I had been looking at YouTube videos um, and you girls tutorials. Um, and you guys swear by some of these brands. And go ahead, let me go ahead and give a shout out to the um, Glam Twins. Because um, you guys really did put me on when it comes to the skincare. Because, I mean, oh my God. You guys, go look at their um, Sephora haul. It is so bomb. But, um, yeah, I wish my pockets was like that, girl. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I did go look at some of those masks that you guys recommended as well. So, and I do get a mask in here. Um, I see the brochure um, is in there. I did get the serum. So a couple of things that you girls did mention, if you ever watch, it, watch this video, <laughs> a couple of things that they did mention, um, I did follow up and, and I wanted to try them out, okay? So, and they're so beautiful. Both of you guys are, if you ever see this. But anyway, uh, let's see. Pack your bag with 911 under eye rescue patches. So there's two of those in there. And now uh, let's just go ahead and open this sucker up. And we're going through all that. This is what it looks like. It's a little cute little bag, guys. This is what it looks like in the inside, full of goodies. And I am, guys, on my way out, actually, to visit my family. I'm going home for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, this is going to definitely go in my bag. I'm probably going to take the whole bag. <laughs> Allergenics. Okay, and that's the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Hmm. Doesn't have a smell to it. Mm. Uh, I did just spray perfume on it. That smell good. Okay, yeah, guys, no smell, which is good because it's going under the eye, and it is soft. Um, it feels very silky. Mm, guys, I am so excited. Let's see. The rose mask, rose face mask, infused with real rose petals. Little right here. Ooh. Okay. Guys, this remind me of a. Uh, I don't know. It smells pretty strong. Guys, it kind of smells like a perm. Ah! Okay. It's not thick in consistency. Yeah. It has a, small, a strong smell to it, which actually kind of concerns me. But it has like a lot of herbs and all kind of good stuff. Looks oh, Well, of course, those are the rose petals. But there's some other stuff in there, too. Okay, we're going to see. I would love to try it tonight, but uh, I would hate to try some of this stuff, guys, and be messed all up for Thanksgiving. And not only Thanksgiving, my sister is having her birthday party. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be lit. We're going to have a good time. And then this is the belief. That's kind of excited about any moisturizers um, because I don't use a moisturizer. I don't use I have really all the skin, guys, and I don't moisturize my skin. I, I know I should. That's where I'm starting now. Mm, that feels good. And it has a really light scent to it. Kind of like a baby powder. I am so excited about this. So, so, so excited. 
because I did tell her that I did have cysts in the skin. So that's very important to let them know when you are, you know, seeking uh, skin care. So yeah, moving right along. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cloud Cream Hydration up to 70, uh, 72 hours for all skin types. But I'm going to go for the gusto because I got to do something with my skin you know, because I'm starting to break out. And I wasn't breaking out before I started putting all this makeup and stuff on my face. You know what I mean? Like on a, on a more often, well, yeah. Like it's not breaking out bad, but I mean, I just don't do anything to my skin other than just uh, Dove soap. You know, wash, you know, keep it washed. And um, I recently started using this because I did see, um, got this recommended. I think it, I think it was recommended by uh, Mahogany. But yeah, Jessica. Anyway, this is just a pore um, perfecting toner. And it's by Dickinson. And um, yeah, it says you can use it daily. It's 100% all natural. I get it from Target, and it's been working just fine. So thank you, girl. So we got some Kate Somerville here. Intensive exfoliating um, treatment. So yeah, it says Hollywood's two-minute facial. Hollywood. I'll let you guys know, or my face will let you know how these products work. And this is Purity here. Purity is next. It's a three-in-one cleanser, guys, for the face and eyes. Okay, and we have next, we have the Hello Fab. It is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. That sounds good. And it says it's safe for sensitive skin. It says apply all over a clean face. Okay, base hydrate smoothie. Okay. So far, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. The consistency on all of this stuff is creamy and smooth and silky. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's not a real, uh, I, wow, this stuff must be the bomb because I don't think I've ever seen a container as small as this. <laughs> it gotta be the bomb. Like, really? What am I supposed to do with this? Do you see my face? Is this gonna be enough? Oh my God. So Real Skin Organ Finishing Balm. All right, Josie Moran. I know you about your business, girl, but jeez. When I say this is a sample, this is a sample. This is how much is in here. This better be the ball. My battery, I don't even want to touch it. Mm. I mean, look, it has like a pinkish undertone. Mm. Feels good. Again, no smell. Yeah, I think I'm going to put her on tonight. She feels amazing. It's a matte glow moisturizer. Ooh. Mm. Consistency is thick. I mean, well, it's not thick. It just melts in the skin. I love it. Let's, let's me know it's gonna be bomb. Really? Yes, best friend. How can I help you? I'm filming. All righty. I'm gonna make sure I leave this part in the clip. Bye. <laughs> it's a hot mess, y'all. Now she didn't know I'm filming. Actually, she didn't know. And it's the truth serum. So this is what it looks like. I love that all of these are very, very light scented. 
I love that. Give me the product. Don't load me down with perfume and fillers. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. That's it for my bag. And I have one more thing that I did buy or purchase. But, honey, I'm just getting started. Check this out. I chose this one over the prism. I hope I don't regret it. And if I do, you'll know about it because you'll see the prism because you'll see this back in the bag going back to the store. So, <laughs> um, I got the subculture. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh! Because I'm telling you, it was a blessing. I got blessings. That's the candle, guys. Nothing is catching a fire. Um, I truly got blessed, guys. I was not... Um, I was not attending the sale. I mean, I actually, I did attend the sale. Like, I bought one thing from the sale. I liked it, this palette better than I liked the, um, the Prism palette. Um, I'm not big on shimmers. I like a good shimmer now. Don't get me wrong. So, you know, for the, you know, the newbies out there, you know, like me, um, you know, you may be interested in going and get this palette. Now, I did hear a lot of the girls saying that, um, I guess it has a lot of fallout and that, um, you know, it just was really, the biggest issue was a lot of fallout. So, I don't know. I fell in love with this one because this was the one that was on display. Um, and that, this was the one that when I first started going to Sephora, I, you know, um, would always go in and swatch it. I used some of Fudge. And I'll still swatch them for you guys, but just like um, Jackiana was saying, um, as far as, you know, just because it's swatched one way on your hand or arm doesn't mean it's going to swatch that same way on your eyelids. Um, and basically what I did also find out um, is that because of my darker complexion is that I do have to use the concealer. I see you guys use concealers on your eyelids. And I was like, um, team too much. What is this about? And, and then, you know, once I, you know, was buying this more of an expensive eyeshadow and it wasn't showing up as good. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. The expensive eyeshadow shows up way better than the, you know, average, you know, just regular drugstore shadows. Um, um, I don't know if my wallet love her products as much as I do. But for the most part, uh, yeah, I will, you know, definitely, definitely I have fell in love. I have found a new love. Um, and yeah, just made like, this is, I don't know. This is, this is like, I feel like God sin in a way. Um, some of her products, I mean, they're just that perfect for my skin. I mean, you know, I'm putting these on, this is Roxy. Roxy, Roxy, no. electric, new wave. Untamed. These are how they look on the fingertips. Edge. Rowdy. Which I love. Cube. Like a for rinsing. Done. Here's done. Destiny. Destiny is pretty. But Destiny is not showing up as good on the skin. Like, um, I like. Adore is everyone's favorite. Adore is a little shaky. Trying to come out of this palette now. This is a door. A door showing up beautiful on the skin. Okay, where are we? All star. Let's see if all star looks like that on the skin. All star. 
<clears throat> Mercury. Mercury. Axis. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. On that damn fingertip. Let's see. On that skin. Oh, I should have put this on today. Guys, this is so pretty. Like, it's just bomb. So I'm excited, guys. Um, I'm not as excited as I was in the beginning, but I'm excited for the new journey. I'm excited for the new blessings I've been able to obtain. Uh, so anyway, I do recommend this palette so far. I have not used it just yet, but I will, um, the one or two shades that I have used, I do like. So I don't think you can go wrong with, with old girl. And what I would say, um, like I said, Sephora, one thing about Sephora, and I don't even deal with too many stores that don't have an excellent return policy. Yeah. So, yeah, if it doesn't work out, then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and I'll probably take it back and get the prism. If you haven't already, please like this video. Thumbs up. Go ahead and hit your little bell icon so you'll go ahead and get all the notifications when I upload a video. Come on over and join us. Why not? It's all positive over here. Why not? Before I go, have you done something nice for someone today? Do something nice for someone today. Try to, try to do something nice for someone every day. That's what I'm, you know, wanting to get out. So even if it's just call up your sister, friend, whoever, and say, hey, I love you. Hey, you look nice. Or hey, remember that time we went out? Whatever it is, just just give a compliment. Just do something nice before the sun goes down. Okay?